hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you guys for joining me today so as the title says today I'm going to be doing my first impression slash review on the Too Faced just peach peaches matte peachy matte matte so there this is the peaches and cream collection that they have and they came out with the eyeshadow just peachy and this launched I want to say it launched September 1st I could be wrong but I think it's September 1st September 2nd and I grabbed it um, at Sephora they were in store so let me just double check on that so the collection launched August 31st at and it's exclusive to Sephora only but this right here you get um, 12 eyeshadows they retail it retails for $45 and it's supposed to be a long wearing eyeshadow palette with 12 highly pigmented matte hues for endless eye looks and then it's supposed to be without paraben sulfates sulfates and false false fates so the eyeshadows itself the palette looks like this it looks so beautiful gold on the back um, it's gonna get dirty it's gonna have fingerprints on it but it is beautiful then it has two little peaches right here in the front of it and that's how you open it and the, the mirror is so huge it's big I did this whole eye look looking in this mirror and it turned out fine I can do my whole face with this mirror alone the mirror looks really really beautiful and the shades look like this now when you swatch them they're not that great when you swatch them like I'm not even trying to lie they don't look that great when you swatch them but on the eyes they performed really well so this is the top row starting with um peach tart this is peach cobbler peach tea and then this one is peach meringue that's the top row so these are the second row and this one is just ripe this one is peach punch just peachy and then this one is called peach butter now you see on my hands they look a little patchy um except for this one i think this one is really really pigmented even if you swatch it but they look kind of dusty and also they don't look as pigmented as other shades or shadows um but on the eyes they perform really well and they're really really pigmented so swatches don't always do it justice just to be quite honest because when I swatched this in store, I was like, mm, no, like that's not looking pretty good. But I decided to give it a shot anyway and see how this works on the lids. So that's that. And then this is the last row. Now this one is um, chocolate dipped, um, peach sangrini, fresh picked. And then this last one is peaches and cream. So these are what the shades look like. Now this one is the only one that I feel like you see the glitter in there. Like it has a sheen to it. But on my lids, I use that today and it doesn't have a sheen at all. They, my eye looks completely matte. So um, that's that. But it's $45. You get 12 shades and it launched August 31st. Now I'm going to go into the demo on how I did the eye makeup and my first impression review. And if you want to see what I think about this eyeshadow palette, then just keep on watching. Alright guys, so this is how the palette looks. In the inside, I love this packaging. This packaging is so beautiful. I mean, the, everything about this just makes me love it packaging wise. The only other two palettes that I own of Too Faced are these two. This one was my first love. I love this one so much. None of the other none of the other chocolate bar um, series ever drew any attention to me. I did want to want to try the peach one, but um, some of the colors just look like this, where um, you love some of them, and then some of them you're like, I'm never gonna use those. Why did they put those shades in there? So that's why I opted out of that one. I wasn't too impressed overall with that one. And the other one I love is this one. Now this one I used for my wedding. So this one holds a big part um, for me 
um, in that way. But the shadows in here are beautiful. I love this for neutral eyes. Some of the ones that also in this collection are really good as well. But those are the only two I have. Now in the peach series that they have, this one is the only palette that drew my attention and made me um, want to go out and buy it as soon as, as soon as they launched. So this one I love the little mirror in here. It's huge. I can do my whole face with this mirror. It is awesome. And then you get these shades. Now these shades don't look anything too crazy in person. I think in the picture look a little bit um, more interesting to me. But the fact that they're all matte and I have, I don't really own any um, palettes that are all matte completely. And this one called called Peach Santorini. This one right here, it actually has some glitter in it. So I don't know how that's going to work. But this one was the color I was most um, interested in trying and then just right. I think that one's beautiful. And then this one's a good transition. I mean, it's overall, I think it's a really nice peachy palette. And that's what I really wanted, a warm peachy palette. And the peach palette one, it wasn't too, you know, all peach for me. So, and the smell of this is so good. It smells like like a peach fragrance but not like the real fruit peach if that makes sense it smells so good i love it it smells like a candy peach lotiony peach kind of um smell and when i did open it it was dusty it didn't have that protective layer on it and around around it was dusty when i opened it so i thought that was a little bit weird but jumping in, I'm going to quickly just do an eye look and test these shadows out for the first time. I'm going to go in with Peach Butter, which is this one right here. And it looks more to be like my skin tone. They have Peach Meringue, which is more whiter, kind of like more brightening and highlighting. So this, I'm going to go with Peach Butter and just put that all over my lid. I actually set down some concealer that I'm testing out that's brand new so I have that on my eyelids and I did my brows with my L'Oreal um, eyebrow pencil which I think is too dark for me but we'll go with it I won't use that I won't use that pencil for lighter days like where I do my no makeup makeup look but for like dramatic days where I'm gonna do a full face of makeup I will use a darker eyebrow pencil. So I scooted you guys in a little bit closer. I wanted you guys to see what I was doing to my face. So I think I'm gonna go in with something a little bit different than like picking up a transition shade from here. I think I'm gonna go in with a peach. This peaches and cream um, eyeshadow. It looks like that. Uh, the cam the, um, the lights here are is washing it, washing it out. But I'm going to go with that and put it in my crease. Now, I love this mirror. Like, love this mirror. I can just keep it right here. And you it's not in your way. And I can see what I'm doing. You can see what I'm doing. So, overall, it's good. But I'm just putting that right in the crease. And so far, it, they're blending pretty well. Pigmentation is really good as well for a light peachy transition shade for me. So I like that. So I'm going to go ahead and deepen up the crease with um, this one. It's called Fresh Picked. So this shade right here, I'm going to just pick it up on a smaller fluffy brush and go into the crease, not really above. So I'm staying away from the color I just applied. And I'm going to go in and add that there. Next, I'm going to go in with a shade that I have been dying to try. And it's this one right here. It's just ripe. So I'm going to go ahead and go into this one. And I'm going to put that on my outer corner to darken it up. And yes. I love that color. I can't stop smelling it, guys. 
I love it. So that darkened up the outer corner really well. I'm going to go in one more time and perfect the shade. And then I'm going to turn my brush around and then just blend it in. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. I'm going to go in with the blending brush and just blend the edges. So the next thing I'm going to do is take a little bit of peach sangria. And I'm just going to pack that on my outer lid. Just right here. Since this does have a little bit of shimmer i want to just pack that here on my outer edge and then slowly blend it in but not bringing it to my crease oh that looks pretty so i'm just gonna go in with just riped again the darker maroon kind of shade and I'm going to deepen up the outer corner again since it did fade and just deepen it up I'm a little torn I don't know what to do for the inner part I want to go either with uh, just peach going to peach punch I think I'm gonna do peach punch I'm just going to go right into Peach Punch and put that right here in the inner corner and just buff it out. Oh wow, that turned out pretty good. They blend it together perfectly, but in person, this is a lighter peach. This is more like a reddish peach, and then that's more like darker burgundy. So it kind of has that gradient effect, and I pretty, I really like it. I like it a lot. Blend out the edges. Now I'm going to go in with the lightest, whitest shade, and I'm going to do my brow bone. I'm just looking for a brush. I'm going to pick some of that whitish, whitish matte color. And it's called Peach Meringue. And I'm going to go right here. Now for my inner corner right here, I do like the glitter or the highlighted look. So I will go in with a my highlight that I'm using on my face and just pop that in my inner corner. I'm going to buff that all together. Now I'm going to do the same thing on my lower lash line that I did on my upper lash line. Finish my face and then I'll be back to give you guys my final thought. I love the way this look came out. I can see myself wearing this um, more often. I love that I didn't use any shimmer on my lid that one shade um, is called peach sangrini I thought this one was gonna be like a little glittery but on the lid honestly I don't see any kind of glitter no sheen and nothing whatsoever coming out of that shade so I'm not sure if it's like an overlay or if it's like a satin type of color but that's the only one that has that little sheen to it but on the eye my eye looks completely matte the only thing glitter is the inner corner that I have there. I absolutely love this palette. I would recommend this palette if you like peachy colors, if you're a fan of Too Faced shadows, but packaging and everything, presentation and everything is beautiful. I love it. Now this retails for $45. The cost for the shades, it's a little bit expensive, I'm not gonna lie, um, but I do see myself wearing this a lot. I don't see, I don't think I'm gonna just purchase it use it once and then leave it down so for me 
it was worth it because I love the packaging. I love the shadows. It smells great. Um, everything blended perfectly. They performed really well. So there goes my first impression on the Too Faced Just Peachy Matte Eyeshadow. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, bye guys.